Well, you know, on Wednesdays, Melissa usually gives us a call, and when I'm with Lauren in studio, but since I'm filling in for her, we decided to call in to see how Lauren is doing right now. Lauren, hello. I saw hello. you at four this morning. We did a radio show together, Joey and Lauren in the morning, and now we get to hang out um, virtually which is great. So how are you? Not to mention we were up in the night feeding a baby together. So yep. really we can't get rid of each other, but I'm good. But it's the been thing, just a few minutes. Yeah, the thing you don't realize is I just got to hang out with Chef Nikki and eat a bunch of food and you did not. And so I made you a, you probably saw it, I made you like this brownie sundae thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take that home or not, not going to lie. Okay, so I saw it and you had me until you threw a gummy bear or a gummy worm into gummy the brownies. Worms. But you like sour gummy worms. That's what I'm confused about. Sour gummy about. worms with chocolate, though, it's just not, I mean, that's you, that's not me. And this is why, even after 10 years of marriage, it's still hard to figure out what your significant other really likes, because I thought <laughs> sour gummy worms were what it's about. Okay, so uh, on our radio show, Joey and Lauren in the morning on My 1027, of course, we do Would You Rather Wednesday. So we decided here on Idaho today, let's do a little Would You Rather Wednesday. So as you're watching, play along. Uh, Lauren has the questions today. Yes. I do. So, Joey, would you rather have a personal chef, maybe Chef Nikki, or a personal maid? What a you personal going with, chef, chef or, or maid? A personal maid. Well, since Chef Nikki is still here, Chef Nikki, let's figure something out. Absolutely. Yeah. No, uh, I, you've, I think you've got to go personal chef because I am actually, people probably don't believe me, but I'm actually very, very clean. So I clean the toilets once a week. I scrub them down. I clean the bathrooms. I do all that. I actually like being clean, so that doesn't bother me. But like yesterday, we had a full day. To me, it's so easy. Someone, personal chef. And think of like custom making something. So if you're like, you know, I'm craving a grilled cheese sandwich with a pepperoni pizza, that can be done. You're not gonna go to two restaurants to get that done. You don't have the ingredients to do it yourself. Personal chef. Yeah, but think about the laundry. All I think about is laundry. Like, if, if I had a personal maid, my laundry woes go away. And that's the problem is I Valid. am sitting there and I am folding baby clothes and towels and all this stuff. If I could have a maid, that would be absolutely. That's why you just, I, don't, you, I just don't do much laundry. So I, you know, I mean, if you don't wash your clothes, you don't have to dry and fold your clothes. It's smart. Life okay. Uh, next okay. question. Would you rather yes. Wednesday? Go on a road trip with your mother-in-law or a road trip with your boss? You're trapped in a boss. car wow. with your mother-in-law or your boss. I'm a, I'm, I'm a fan of Lauren, your mom. I love your mom. We get along great. In fact, a lot of times when your mom comes and visits, like, you know, we have, I would say, I would venture to say I think we've got one of the best son and mother-in-law relationships on planet Earth. I think so. Well, we're gonna have to I, ask her. To I see went what she's on a date with your mom, if you remember right. We went out to uh, Dear Evan Hansen when it was here. We went out. We decided to go out, and like I remember getting looks from people like, "Oh, that's your mother-in-law, and you're out with her." Absolutely. So mother-in-law, easy. Boss, I'm a little worried about his music choices. That would be tough. I, I also feel like mother-in-law for me because I do get along with my mother-in-law. But the the best thing about it is she will keep me awake because she will talk the, the time. entire time. Yep. So she's great to go on a road trip with. But also, okay, and then last one. I was gonna say, my mom will judge your driving though. My mom's yeah, kind of true. a backseat driver and you speed a little bit, you tailgate people a little bit. This is, a, this is an intervention for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you wanna, you'd rather be trapped in a food fight or a water balloon fight? Oh, food fight. What, there, I hate wearing dry clothes and getting wet by a water balloon. Food fight, honestly. And then I eat it. So it's like, oh man, someone just threw chocolate cake at me. Oh, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? I just got chocolate cake. See, I was gonna say, I don't want like sauce or stuff in my hair, but you don't have to deal with that. Yeah, that's true. No Thank you. I mean, you wouldn't have to deal with As a balding man, I don't have to deal with food getting stuck in my hair. Gosh, you are so sweet. That's true. No, but I think like water balloons, I, I actually just had a water balloon fight with our kids like two weeks ago. And I remember like during the time I was like, this is great. And then I had this sopping wet t-shirt that was really tough. And nothing worse than wet socks. I will say wet socks is the worst. When was the last time you were in a water balloon fight, Lauren? It's been years. It has, it has been, been years. years. I, I actually strategically avoid, I've been, there's been a lot of opportunities in my life where people are like, hey, let's have a water balloon fight, and I skip it, yeah. I'm like, no. Okay, that's awesome. All the times people are offering water balloon fights. Yeah, fight. exactly. Well, uh, we will see you later. We check in, obviously, with both of us. I'm here, though, but we'll check in with you next Wednesday, and I will see you later today, Lauren, so. Okay.
Thanks we'll for hanging out. So big thanks to Lauren hanging out with us. Well, that's going to do it uh, today for Idaho Today. We'll be back again tomorrow. I'll be filling in for Melissa Paul one last time. She'll be back next week. Make sure to tune in every weekday, Monday through Friday at 1230, right here on KTVB for Idaho Today. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, social media. Have a great day. We will talk to you tomorrow on Idaho.